Okay, you want to refinance or you want to buy a house and you want to get the best deal possible. Now what we're all seeing right now is we're seeing a lot of perks and incentives. And this one that we're going to talk about, if you're a rate shopper or you're trying to make sure you're getting the best deal, stay tuned, watch it. So here's what happened. Today my production manager CJ came to me and he said, Jen, I'm being offered through my credit card company a statement credit from this lender if I refinance with them. And I'm like, oh, okay. You know, because I've had clients say to me, well, Jen, they're going to give me airline miles or Jen, they're going to give me this. And I'm like, okay, game on. Call them and let's see what their rates are. Let's see if this is a real credit or it's something they're giving you that makes it look like you're getting a deal when in fact you're not. And that's what you guys really need to be aware of. We see this with new construction a lot where the builder will be like, ah, don't I'll pay your closing costs, but the rate's a lot higher. Whenever you're being given something in order to work with someone, you need to make sure you're doing the math to see if you're actually being charged on the back end. So he got the numbers, and then just to make sure we're crystal clear, I'm filming this on 11.9, okay? I've got to put in captions, it takes time. Um, he, uh, he told them he owed 453, and that the house was worth 565, which is an 84% loan to value, single family home, conventional mortgage, 800 credit score, 40% debt to income, okay? He wanted to make sure we had the same parameters. He's on my team, so clearly he's gonna make sure that we price this right. Um, the time between when he priced with them and he priced with me was about 20 minutes. So real close, no market changes. Okay, so first of all, in the advertisement, they had said up to $6,000. Um, in reality, he found out that at his price point in conventional, the credit he would get would be $2,000 on his credit card. Still great. That's a lot of money. In addition, they were going to waive their lender fee. Cool. Sounds like a great deal, right? I mean, we all know it's not going to be otherwise we're <laughs> doing this video, but yeah, so it sounds good. And like to the average consumer, like, why wouldn't you do that? Like, it's a very trusted company. They have amazing marketing and like in fairness, this isn't uncommon in the business, but you guys need to make sure you're getting the best deal because we care about your money, I care about your money, you care about your money, and we all work too hard for it. So, he priced it out. And at 2.875, it was gonna cost him one point. One point at a 453,000 loan amount is $4,530, okay? Um, and then at three and a quarter, no points. That's, those were the rates that they were telling him. Okay, cool. Where am I at? Where am I at? Well, first of all, I'm not going to give you a credit on your credit card. Sorry, I'm not giving you a statement credit. I'm also not waiving my lender fee. I'm not. I, this is just regular. You're calling me, hey, Jen, it's a Tuesday. There's no specials involved. This is just Tuesday, okay? Now, I have a 1450 lender fee. But when I priced it, I was at 2.875 with no points. So they're charging $4,530 for the same rate that I'm not charging points on. Okay? And that's what you guys need to understand. Whenever I was watching this video today of this terrible lender, I can't stand them, where they were talking, she was talking about how, well, rates are all the same at a bank, so really it just depends on your credit scores because all lenders are the same. Bull. It's not right, lenders price differently. So in this case, I'm at 2.875, no points, but I, I have a lender fee of 14.50 and, and I'm not giving them a $2,000 credit. So when you look at the math, and this is where people stumble, because they go, how can I weigh those out against each other? You know, they're giving me a credit, there's no lender fee, but then Jen's rate seems, you know, it's the same, but she's saying it's better, but then she has a lender fee, and it can be very confusing. So you wanna do the math, simple. Um, okay, so they're gonna charge you 45.30 for that rate, great. Um, I have a lender fee, so let's take what they're going to charge you and then let's back out what my fees are. And if my fees are higher than theirs, well, guess what? It's going to, they'll be the winner. Okay. So $45.30 minus $14.50 for my lender fee. And then I'm not going to give the $2,000 statement credit that they're giving. Well, guess what? I'm still $1,080 cheaper. Yeah. Yeah, they're waiving their lender fee, they're giving the credit, but they're charging a point. They're charging a point, okay? 
That is where all the math works out, where all the perception of free that you guys think you're getting, you're not. It's all rolled in to the math. And that's what you really need to be careful of because with marketing, with lenders, you know, it's going to be a bloodbath for the next six to eight months with lenders getting dirty to stay in business. You're going to see stuff where it looks so beautiful, but like the math isn't there and I can't stress it enough. Um, okay. So I was like, eh, maybe that's a one-off, you know, maybe it's just that, that price point where it's different. Okay. So I said, wait, no points. Where are we at? Where are we at? Three and a quarter. Okay, three and a quarter. They're saying to the buyer, ooh, CJ, hey, we'll give you three and a quarter, but no points, okay? Cool, you don't have to pay that $4,500. We're not gonna have a lender fee. We're also gonna give you that great $2,000 you know, credit. So three and a quarter, no points. Okay, where am I at? Three and a quarter, I am giving them a point. <laughs> I'm giving you a point, which is $4,530. So they're not charging you anything. They're giving you a $2,000 credit and no lender fee. So once again, the math breaks out where I'm $1,080 cheaper because you take the $1,450, you add the $2,000, I am still cheaper. Okay, and look, this video is not to say I am gonna be the cheapest lender no matter what. It's impossible. I've done other videos on that where I'm like, look, there's always gonna be someone lower. There's always gonna be someone with a better rate. The reason I bring this up is because I see it a lot. And it's generally with bigger companies because they have ties in with the credit cards and everything else. Um, and you know, I have a banking institution that I work with where they don't have a mortgage company. And so they pair with a mortgage company and this mortgage company, I get these letters where it's like, we'll give you a quarter percent off your refinance. But the question is, well, what's the rate to begin with? Is this a quarter off of a low rate, the lowest rate, or is this quarter off of an inflated rate to make me think I'm getting a discount when in fact I might be paying more? You know, so you guys really need to make sure that you're doing the math, you're paying attention, do not fall for the marketing. I cannot stress that enough. I do so much research into marketing because it's one of my passions. I think it's super interesting. And like, it's such an old trick in the book. Make, they, make them think they're getting something for free and then price it on the back end so that you're actually making more. Yeah. So look, I am licensed in 48 states. If you guys ever want a no BS, this is where I'm at. No drama. I'm always happy to tell you guys. Um, FHA, FHA and conventional jumbo, our fee is $1,450. VA, we do waive our lender fee and we don't do nonsense where it's charged back to in, in that crazy manner. Um, fun fact, we started making these beauties. Oh yeah, it's a Math Matters hat. We're not charging for them. If you guys care about math and you're doing math to make sure that you and your family get the best deal, hit us up. We will send you a hat for free. Shipping and handling included in the freeness. Thanks guys for watching.